Zimbabwe-born rapper Mischief made a name for himself on the South African rap scene at a time when hip-hop didn't have a big local following. Picture this. No, uh, no radio airplay, no TV presence. You, we basically had to rely on street cred. But despite this, Mischief released the chart-topping hit Summertime in 2001 and paved the way for other musicians. I like it! I, like it. I would really say that we inspired each other, you know, um, because it was the inception of, of commercial rap music. So he was just the first guy to be acknowledged commercially and, and cross over. Affectionately known as Chamu, Mischief was the first to independently release an album. Many say his fusion of hip hop with a live band was groundbreaking. We made it look feasible to be a rapper in this country, you know, and to actually make recordings, professional recordings, and put them on radio. I mean, at that time, a lot of guys were just making rapping over other people's beats and you know, making mixtape kind of things. Despite his success, Mischief, like many artists, died poor. If you don't sell out, you're not gonna make money. You know, if you do it truly for the art and uplift the community and people, and inspire people, you'll definitely die poor. A lot of cats thought that, you know, Mischief was dead, nothing was exactly going on. Mischief will be laid to rest in Zimbabwe. Pagamile Shubi, Johannesburg. I'm back, no doubt. Now, these niggas don't understand, man. Just tell them one more time. Exactly. Let me be arrogant.